Hi guys! So today I'm going to share my favorite gift guide and that is a gift guide for people who love Disney. So these are for your Disney lovers. I have a whole bunch of things on the floor around me here, things that I have. I'm also going to add a bunch of things that I don't have yet that I would love as a Disney fan. So um, let's get going. Okay, the first thing is my ears. So I have a myriad of ears. These are actual park ears, but I have a bunch of different ears from various Etsy sellers. Um, and so you can find, if you go on Etsy, you can find a ton of different people who make Disney ears and sell them. Um, and if you have somebody who loves Disney and goes to the parks often, they would love to get a custom pair of ears. And you can find all sorts of characters. If your favorite um, movie is Peter Pan, you can find Peter Pan themed ears. If your favorite is Alice in Wonderland, you can find Alice in Wonderland ears, incredible ears, um, anything you want. You can find ears themed after them. And so um, that is a really, really fun and thoughtful gift, especially if you know um, what your person's favorite movies are. Then you can go and find them some ears that are themed to their love. The next thing is clothing items. So I have a couple different things from Disney Parks here. These are actual clothing items that I've purchased in the parks. Um, and you can find all of these on Shop Disney. So I love these vintage Mickey looking, these original Mickey Mouse Clubhouse um, shirts and things that they have out. But you can also find a lot of really fun Disney gear um, on Etsy. Just like the ears, there are people who have custom shops with all sorts of fun and kitschy um, Disney gear. And so um, they have ones that are based on the different snacks. So they have different churros shirts and they have shirts based again on different rides, on different themes. Um, they have one that's like a fan favorite, which is like the backside of water, which is um, sort of an homage to the uh, Jungle Cruise. So there's all sorts of really fun um, different Disney gear available on Etsy. If you just go in and type Disney shirts, you're going to find tons of shops that specialize in making super silly Disney shirts. Um, but of course, if you don't want to do that and you want to go with the parks gear, the Disney parks gear is also really, really awesome. Um, you're just probably going to end up paying a little bit more for it because it is from the Disney parks. So keep that in mind. Jewelry is another really good option. So these are some Mickey Mouse earrings. I have a ton of different uh, Disney jewelry, um, a ton of different Mickey Mouses. I have crystal Mickey Mouses that I got from the parks. Um, you can find all of that on Shop Disney, but you can also find a ton of these. Like these are just, they were super affordable. They're cheaper than the actual parks ones. Um, I found these on Amazon. So um, you can find a ton of different Disney jewelry. Um, Disney Parks actually has some really beautiful um, jeweled necklaces, um, things like that. So you're looking for a high ticket item, um, you're looking at like maybe $200, you can find some really beautiful um, jewelry on the Shop Disney Parks. Um, but if you're looking for something that's um, super affordable and just a small gift for somebody, some Amazon Disney jewelry is really, really nice. Um, like I said, these are from Amazon. I have some Jack Skellingtons that somebody gave me from Amazon that are really lovely. Um, so definitely um, check Amazon if you're looking for more affordable and check the Shop Disney um, site if you're looking for the like licensed original Disney products. Um, and especially if you're looking for those like high end ones that you have somebody that you really want to splurge, um, go and check those for those like crystal earrings, Mickey earrings and necklaces and they have a whole Cinderella line. Um, so that's a really, really good option as well. So you can find on Shop Disney, you can find all sorts of fun, kitschy little accessories. They have scarves, they have these sunglasses. Um, I love wearing these in the parks. I get tons of compliments on these sunglasses. Um, they have little Mickeys all over them. Um, so you can find a ton of these cute little things on Shop Disney. Hair ties, um, sunglasses, scarves, bracelets, um, all sorts of fun. Just And these are not expensive. These were like $20 on the Shop Disney. Um, so you can find all sorts of fun little things like that. Phone cases. So this is one of my Disney phone cases. This is for my um, iPhone X, but you can find them in any, if you type into Amazon, you can find it for any type of phone. Um, this one, 
is a charging phone case, which I recommend to anybody who is a Disney park goer because you get a full extra charge. And then I added this Take Me to Neverland pop socket on here. So this is a perfect phone case for going to the parks um, because you get that extra charge so you're not having to invest in charging modules. Um, and then I added the Disney Touch on the back of it. So um, they have a ton of different Disney pop sockets out there. Again, themed to any movie, any ride that you want. Um, and then this charging case is a really, really, really good investment for somebody who goes to the parks a lot because you do, you're using your phone the whole time on the app um, and then you're also taking lots of pictures. So you blow through that charge on your phone. So this charging case is a really, really good option. Mugs. So this one is from Shop Disney. This was actually bought in the parks. My husband loves this DuckTales mug. Look at the inside. Woohoo! So um, they have all sorts of different fun Disney options. This is my favorite one, and this actually is from Target. And I bought four of these, and I put them in our winter um, hot cocoa bar after Christmas, so we can leave it up throughout the year. I put the Mickey ones in there, and they are so cute. So um, a good Disney mug is always an option. Photo books. So I get mine from Social Print Studio, and I usually build it when I'm flying home that day. Um, and the thing I love about Social Print Studio is that you can print them or you can, they take your pictures right from your phone or even from your Instagram. So if you're trying to go back to another um, trip and you don't have the photos on your phone anymore, um, that you can pull also from your Instagram. But I love these. Um, they're not super expensive. And so they are a great, great option. So if you have somebody that you know went on a Disney trip or um, is going on a Disney trip, get them a gift certificate from Social Print Studio and they can build a very simple little picture book. And I love, I mean, they're so awesome. It's just one picture a page, um, but I literally do this on the plane as we're flying home and then I get it the next week. It's such an awesome company. They're so easy to work with. The app on your phone makes it so easy to build. Um, I, I just love this company. So definitely check them out and a gift certificate to get a photo book or if you went on the trip, say like you're a husband or a wife, um, if you went on a Disney trip and you haven't commemorated it yet, build this and then have it for them for Christmas. This would be awesome. So this is from Walt Disney World. This was my son's, he picked it out when we were there. But my kids love having special things like this to remember their trips. And it says Walt Disney World, I'm not sure if you can see that on the mirror, it says Walt Disney World on it. Um, this would be a great gift for somebody who loves Mickey. They make them in all different characters too. So if, it's, if they're not a Mickey lover, you can get them in the princesses, you can get them in um, you know, pirates and the Winnie the Pooh, all sorts of things. So this is just a really pretty gift. All right, let's talk about some house stuff. So these are from Shop Disney. I actually got these in the park, but how cute are these hand towels? I'm saving these to put out in the new year um, after we take down all our Christmas stuff. But how sweet. These were, let's see how much, oh, it doesn't say. They're not terribly expensive. So this would be a great stocking stuffer for somebody who loved Disney. And I love how the Mickeys are very subtle. Really, really cute. And of course, if they love Disney, they probably love those Mickey waffles. So a Mickey waffle maker is gonna run you about 20 bucks is all. Um, and then they can have those Mickey waffles all year round, which is so fun. We love doing this for um, Sunday breakfasts or even for when we do breakfast for dinner. Um, we'll pull out the Mickey Waffle Maker and it just makes us all really happy. So this is a really, really good gift for somebody who loves Disney. All right, I have to say it. If you know someone who loves Disney, buy them a park ticket. Take them to Disney if you can. Um, that is always going to be a welcome gift. Um, in fact, that is one of the things I asked my husband for. We have a layover um, in February in LA, kind of a long layover. And I said, please just give me a Disney ticket and take me to Disney. Um, actually, it was his idea. And I said, yes, please give me that for Christmas. So um, that is always a good option is say, hey, I'm gonna take you to Disney. 
And um, I would die if somebody gave that to me as a gift. That would be the best gift ever. Hidden Mickey books are so fun. If you have somebody who goes to the park often, or at least maybe more than once, like once a year, um, these Hidden Mickey books are so fun. There's Hidden Mickeys, people don't know this, there's Hidden Mickeys hidden all over the parks and the resorts. And a Hidden Mickey means it's a Mickey that's like not really like in plain sight. It's not like an actual Mickey Mouse standing there. It might be in the decor, it might be in the railing, there's like a Mickey Mouse um, head like built into the ironwork of the railing or a shadow on the wall or some cobblestones that are in a Mickey. And this is a guide to all of the hidden Mickeys and it kind of tells you um, where to look for them. And it, this is so fun, especially when you're waiting in line and you're just super bored. This is such a fun way to pass the time and you can find all of those little hidden things that the Imagineers have built in. Speaking of Imagineers, I got this Imagineering book for Christmas last year and it is gorgeous. So this book is all about um, what Imagineering is and what they do. And it talks about the whole process. It talks about a bunch of the different rides and how the parks have evolved um, and how they think about things. This is the section on Cars Land. It's just a really cool book. Um, we have this out on our coffee table pretty often um, when we're not decorated for Christmas. Um, and it's, it's just, I could sit here and look at this all day long. It's such a, such a cool book. Um, so there's a ton of different books like this out there. The new book out um, about the Disney parks called One Day, it just came out. Um, and it is basically like a behind the scenes for different cast members and kind of what their day looks like and how they work, what they do for the park in one day. Um, so a really cool in-depth look at um, kind of what those cast members do um, and how they make that magic happening. So um, there's a bunch of different coffee table books out there. If you know somebody who loves Disney, um, definitely take a look at those. You can just type in Disney coffee table books and there's a ton. There's stuff specific to villains. There's stuff specific to princesses. Um, it's, it's amazing. A Disney cookbook. There's a bunch of these too. This one I bought years ago. I would say I bought this one about 10 years ago. We have made a lot of the recipes in here. This is Cooking with Mickey and the Disney Chefs. So this one includes recipes from Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and Disney Cruise Line. Um, and we've made some of, the, you know, the, some of the famous recipes that are in those restaurants, in those parks. Um, so this is a really fun option, but there's a ton of different Disney cookbooks out there. So definitely check those out if you have somebody that visits the parks um, often and they're kind of a foodie and they really get into the food aspect of um, eating there. Um, definitely a cookbook with some of those famous Disney recipes would be super fun. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into some things that I don't have here physically to show you. So what I have on my list this year as a Disney lover is a lounge fly backpack. Um, so they're little mini backpacks and they're themed to Disney. So people take them into the parks um, as their purse or as their bag. I have been taking my Kate Spade little mini backpack into the parks the past couple times I've gone, which scares me because you guys, this is a very, um, this is an expensive handbag. It's not like a super high end designer handbag. This the handbag was about $400, but I'm shoving it in those ride baskets every time it's getting wet. Um, I just don't like to take my very favorite handbag into the parks. Those lounge fly backpacks are made for that. Um, and they're, they're kind of a mid price point. They range from like 65 to like $100, depending on which one you get. Um, and I just really want one. I think they're super fun. Um, so that is a definitely a good option. That's something that I'm wanting. And then um, Kate Spade makes a whole Minnie Mouse line. So she makes a, um, a Minnie Mouse bag. She makes Minnie Mouse wallets, all sorts of things. And I have this cute little bobble that a friend gave to me um, that I have on my bag. And this is from Kate Spade and it's just a little Minnie Mouse bobble. I love it. It's one of my favorite things ever. Um, so that's an option as well too. I like cherish this. It's like one of my favorites. Mickey Mouse cookie cutters. If you wanted just a small little gift, something under $10, these Mickey Mouse cookie cutters, um, I bought this one in the parks, but you can get them um, on Amazon as well. Um, and this would be just a fun little gift for somebody that you know that loves Disney. A Christmas ornament, especially if you're buying for somebody for Christmas. These are 
I didn't even take the tag off this one, $21.99. And you buy these in the parks, but you can also buy them on the Shop Disney website. And they're so cute. They have some that have years on them. So that's, we like to get those sometimes to commemorate the year that we were there. But sometimes we also just get these cute little ones um, and they change, they don't have them forever. So, um, you know, if you get one for them, um, it'll be something special that um, they can save and have from that time. A Disney gift card is always a good idea. Um, they range from anywhere from $25 to $100. They sell them at Target, Walmart, City Market. If you buy them at Target, you can use your red card and you can get 5% off um, even on gift cards, which is super cool. So you get kind of a double um, discount on that. Um, those gift cards can be used for in the parks, but a lot of people don't know, a Disney gift card can also be used if somebody's booking a trip. So if they are working on booking a vacation and they have a gift card, they can apply that $100 that you gave them or whatever to their hotel, which is so cool. So um, they can use it for that. But then if they don't have a trip coming, they can use it online at the Shop Disney site. So that's also, so if they wanna buy some park merchandise, some clothing, some ears, whatever, um, they can use those gift cards for that. And that's always a good option. Le Creuset came out with a Disney cookware line. So Le Creuset is kind of a high-end line. So this is gonna be a big ticket item. I would love to get a Mickey Mouse Le Creuset pot, um, but they are around $400, but they're gorgeous. They also have like a line of sort of like serving like ramkins that are shaped like Mickey Mouse, and I do have those on my Christmas list this year. I just love them. I think they'd be so cute to serve little treats um, in just any time of year. Um, so definitely check Le Creuset if you're looking for kind of a high ticket item um, for somebody who just loves Disney enough to get it in their home. Lastly, I'm going to talk about a few other Disney books that I have read um, that I think are really interesting. And these are like nonfiction, like reading books, not coffee table books. One is called Disney War. And this is kind of like an in-depth like look at kind of the time in Disney where they were kind of fighting over who was going to be CEO and kind of how that all played out. Another is called The Disney Way. And this is like a management style book anyone could benefit from this book. Um, Disney has been known to go above and beyond in their service and that is one of the things that makes them stand apart from other theme parks. You know, you go to Universal and then you go to Disney and you see the difference and the differences in that service mentality. Um, and so this book basically breaks down um, how, that mentality and how you can translate that into your own business. So really, really interesting read as well. And then there's a newer book out called The Ride of a Lifetime, and that is written by Bob, Bob Iger, who was the president of Disney. And um, that is a really, really interesting, just historical book. It's kind of everything that he went to, some of his insights and things that he um, took away from the whole process. Um, and so that's a really, really interesting book as well. For those people who are interested in the more business side of it or kind of how Disney, the, the machine of Disney runs, um, that would be a really, really good gift for them to read. The last thing I'm going to talk about is subscription boxes. So there are a few different subscription boxes that you can get, and that's where you get a box of Disney stuff every month. And the least expensive one I found was called Walt Life, and you could get a box for $19 a month, um, and they send you Disney stuff every month. I would love to get that subscription box. There's another one called Mickey to Your Door, and that one is specific to park snacks. So if you are one who loves that Disney popcorn and you love those um, little Minnie Mouse cookies that you can only find in the Disney stores, um, this the Mickey to Your Door would be a great subscription box for you or for someone that likes the Disney snacks um, because they that's what they send you. Every month you get a box of Disney-specific snacks that you can only find in the parks. So a lot of people go crazy over those snacks. So... Um, keep that in. And then the last one is Mickey Monthly, which they send you a full box of Mickey stuff. There's different levels, but I mean, these are things you get stuffed animals, you get stickers, you get pins, all sorts of things. So um, subscription box is kind of the gift that keeps on giving. We are a fan of subscription boxes in our home. We love the Tinker Crates and the FabFitFuns and things like that. So a Disney box really would make sense for our family. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you shop for your Disney lovers. Um, I had a lot of ideas here. I hope you were able to translate that into your own shopping. Bye guys.